Good almost afternoon. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble gobble. This is a great workout to do maybe post turkey or pre turkey. We're going to knock it out pre turkey. I have a little helper that's going to help me with the routine. Uh, she left the camera. <laughs> She's even in her in her Christmas um, pajamas too. But you'll you'll see her in a minute possibly. All right, let's yeah. get this workout started. You ready? It's going to be hit. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Prepare for 10 seconds. I think we have Qigong. What's your, oh, let's do paintbrush. Yeah. Pippa likes one. paintbrush. Qigong one foot forward, fingers. one foot back. Staggered lunge and paintbrush. Oh, I can feel my lunges from the other day. Paintbrush. Stay on one side for a minute. Paintbrush. Go as low as you possibly can. Maybe hover the knee over the mat. Paintbrush. Paintbrush. So your paint is in the still hand. The brush is in the moving hand. See if you can look at the hand you're moving. Paintbrush. Daddy wants a serious workout, Pippa. Paintbrush. Turn and face me, Pips. Paintbrush. Paintbrush. 20 more seconds aside. See if you can stay in that fixed bend knee position and keep brushing your paint. Stay low. See if you can hover that knee over the mat. Both knees 90-90. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Bring the feet together, switch sides. Other foot goes forward, other foot goes back. Paintbrush on this side. Paint in one hand, brush in the other. Very nice, good form, Pippa. Here comes Halliday, also behind the scenes. And brush. And brush. Imagine the paintbrush and brush and brush. 30 more seconds. The last 15 seconds will stay low. Stay low. See if you can brush it out here. Knee over ankle. Follow the hand. 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done with your qigong. Moving on to yoga. I like to stretch out my quads today, so I'm gonna go into a standing quadricep stretch and just stand and hold here. Freaking balance rule. Knees together. Continue to sort of tilt your pelvis a little bit more forward to elongate the quad. Now, if you're anticipating a yoga pose, then go into your Narhasana. Go ahead and reach, King Dancer, hold. 30 more seconds on this side, then we'll switch sides. I'm sure everyone would love to see you, Pippa. Why don't you come over on my mat? You're so cute. You could build my fan base and your cuteness. 20 seconds. Should be on camera with that pose. Turning my toes. Yeah. You find that dristy. Find that dristy. Stare at the pole. Stare at something. Nothing comes between you and what you're staring at. Twenty-five seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. Okay. Knee in line with hip, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Timer finished. All right, Tai Chi. I'm just doing this because at the end, I'm going to Gather to open the door. Since you're the opening, 
opening the door to your guests later. Step, open, rock, flip, carry, part, flip, carry, part the main, back foot comes in, gather your chi. So just three layers today. Gather your chi. Remember that when you bring your back foot in, you want your knees to be in line with your ankles. Open the door, rock back, flip, carry the imaginary lantern, part the wild horse's mane on the side of your body, back foot comes in, gather chi. Shift, open, rock, flip, carry, Part the main. Sorry if you have your feet crossed. You're watching. Shift. Step. Open. Rock. Flip. Carry back heel lifts. Part the main. Now when your back foot comes in, you should be able to wiggle your toes in the perfect squat. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Step back. Other side, same thing. Lower. Shift chi. Step, open, rock, flip, carry, part, back foot. Lower, shift, open, rock, flip, carry, part, Two more. Shift, step, open, rock, flip, carry, part the wild horse's mane. Last one, top of the mat, and we'll get ready for yoga. We have 30 seconds, so we'll do a few sun salutations just to warm up even more. Open. Rock, flip, carry, part, back foot comes in, widen your stance, gather chi. We have 10 more seconds, so we'll just do a gather chi and a grand terminus. So last one, grand terminus. Three, two, one, cool down for 20 seconds. Are right, you ready for your yoga? Top of the mat. Top of the mat, stand nice and tall in your Tadasana. Inhale the arms up, go for a side bend, Three, and a side two, bend. One. Bend at the knees, swan dive down to your full. Come into flat back, feel the elongation of your hamstrings here. Spine nice and long, head long, and then fold. Step one leg back and then the other. Open up into a modified side plank so you're on the knee. Get a nice side body stretch. Press the outer edge of your feet down, or outer edge of your foot down, rather. Come through your tabletop to the other side. Open up. Make sure the wrist one is in line with the shoulder joint. Nice big reach. Come back to tabletop. See if you can still the upper body, but wag your tail. Keep the upper body still. It takes a little bit more. A little more thoughtfulness. And then from here, tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Look down to your toes. Look that your heels are in line with your hip joint. Look to the hands. Step one foot forward. Hold a nice lunge. You can take a knee or keep that back foot up. If you want to add rotation, same hand, same side. Left hand, left knee. Come to center. Remember that your left foot is forward, so we'll switch feet. Right foot comes in. Inhale to your flat back if your back feels okay. Reverse swan dive with a nice, nice straight spine. Add your side bends. Same sequency again. So add those modified side planks for a full side body stretch. Fold, step or jump. Take a knee, long body stretch. Try to lift your rib cage up to the ceiling. Come through tabletop. Open up other side, rib cage up to the sky. 
come center, upper body still, shift your hips one side then the other, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Alternate knee bends this time. Focus on one calf. Look to the hands, bring that one foot forward. You can take a knee or stay lifted. Add rotation. Maybe lift the knee. Return to center. Back foot comes in, but stay low. Back foot comes in. Stay low, lower your glutes, elbows in, stretching the spine, a little inner thigh stretch too. Hands go down to the mat, come into your fold. From your fold, widen your feet, one hand in the middle, switch, other hand in the middle, Hands on hips, bend knees. You're ready for cardio. So we have one Tabata round, and that's eight sets, 20 seconds, work, 10 second recovery, eight times, and then two one minute cardio rounds. Do I have any requests for cardio from the class? Anyone? Two. One. Anyone? Timer finish. Cardio for 20 seconds. Cardio one temperature timer. Anyway, not great for me, but okay, what cardio do you want to do? Here we go, run in place, run in place. Run in place. Three, two, one. And recover. Last for 10 seconds. Next cardio, anyone, 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 anyone? <laughs> Three, two, Hi, one. Cardio for 20 Hi, seconds. seconds. Anything to get her right up. Three, two, one. Rest for ten seconds. <laughs> Run in place again. Run in place. Like another foot. Three, two, Go as fast as you can. Cardio for twenty seconds. Heisman again, Heisman. Back to running. Three more to go. Back to Heisman's. Last two sets coming up. Back to a run in place. Three, two, high knees. One. High knees. For high knees, get that heart rate up, which equals more caloric burn, which means more pie or more turkey and gravy. Four, three, two, one. So 
So that finishes our Tabata round. Now we have two one minute cardio rounds. So we'll try some nice squat with rotation. So a little squat hop with rotation. Going in eight, seven, six, Hop up. Hop up. You can do it in place or turn. This is for a minute. Mark. Fifteen seconds to go. some lateral lunges with a touch. Thank you. Lateral lunges with a touch. Use up your whole mat on these. Stretch your leg out to the side. You can go slow. Slow. Low impact or higher impact. You want to give yourself a goal, maybe stack your blocks, touch the blocks, but make sure your butt stays down. And your head. Little camera difficulty there. push-ups give me the best workout so push-ups for Tabata get your blocks start with a close grip working your triceps if you have bad wrists or elbows you can always get some weights and do kickbacks Rest. Same thing, push ups. Let's go with that close grip again. Just gonna work out every nook and cranny of this place, aren't you? Why are you on the camera? You're not. You're so far out of view. Round of tricep push ups. Last round. Three, two, Rest for ten seconds. All right, so narrow grip is always going to work the triceps a lot, so we'll go wide. See if we can isolate the pecs. Take them as wide as your yoga mat, if not wider. If you're going full, one of the tricks to a full push-up is the wider the feet, the wider your base, the easier the push-up. Not easy, just easier. All right, we have four more sets. Get your blocks. Get your blocks. Either single, or double. Double's gonna make you more sore. Wide push ups. Three, 
Get your blocks. Other side. Two more sets. Blocks on this side, then blocks on that side, then we'll move on to a different upper body exercise. Remember one year I hosted a Thanksgiving class and I made everyone work out frozen turkeys. <laughs> for a minute. Swimming for a minute, and then why not try to knock out some push-ups for a minute. If you have wrist issues, you can always use push-up bars or use a band for this exercise. But for now, swimming. Lying prone on your belly, head in line with spine, arms long. Lift your legs, stretch your arms beside you. Squeeze the glutes. Lower and lift. Squeeze. there. Think about slowly lifting your head out of the water and back in the water. You want to feel this in there, in between your shoulder blades, not your neck. Last 15 seconds, stay up, kick the legs. Stay up and hold. Kick. Squeeze in between shoulder blades. Try to lift your chest off the mat as much as you can. Straight legs. Lift your knees off the mat. Lift your legs a little higher. And stretch it out. Tuck toes. Press back into child's pose. One more round of upper body. Let's go for some push-ups. So one minute of push-ups. You want the push-up bars? Oh. All right, one minute. We'll change your hand positions to change it up a little bit. Five more seconds here. Go one up, one back. Switch, other one up and back, last 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Next up, legs. So personally, I had a really good quad workout this week, so I'm gonna go on bridge and work the back side of my body. If you wanna do some squats, you can just switch between what we do with the Tabata and the one minute rounds. So, bridge. Bridge on blocks. Lift up and lower. Up and squeeze. So the first round will be easy, because we'll do double leg. We'll make that two rounds. Two rounds of double leg. Lower, pull your knees in to reset the spine and get a little back break. Three, back on your blocks. One, Another round of two feet. For 20 seconds. Tap and lift. Three, two, one. 
We have six sets to go. We'll do three sets on one leg, three sets the other leg. If you're new to this exercise, alternate. All right, pick a foot. I'm putting my right leg in the sky. I'll do three sets on this side. I will go for the break. When you lift and lower, look to see that your bent knee stays in line with your hip and try to keep your straight leg Two, straight. One. I have body for 20 seconds. I'll point my foot this time. It's a little plantar flexion versus dorsiflexion. Lift and lower. So when you lift, mind that knee not going out to the side. Try to keep it in line with the hip joint. You'll isolate your glutes more. One more set this side, then we get to switch. Three sets, other leg. Same thing. Three, two, one. Other body tablet for 20 seconds. What are you gonna do for the minute round, Phil? Um. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Down for 20 seconds. Squats. Squats. We have a request for squats. Let's do squats. What kind of squats? Regular old squats. Three, two, one. Timer finished. So regular old squats. So your legs are wider than shoulder width for these squats. If you want to increase your heart rate, keep your hands above your head. there. Now we're holding. I got a good looking instructor to my left. <laughs> 20 seconds. He's praying. Now his hands are up. Now he jumped. Now he's jumping. Five, four, three, two. Oh. One more minute. Let's go for sumo. Sumo squats no, now. Lunges. Sumo and lunges. 10 second sumo, 10 second alternating lunges. Compromise. Or do what you want. Ready? Lunge. Two. Okay. One. Sumo, 10 seconds. Pulse it, make it hard. Now I think these lunges are good. So just turn, lunge. You have to pivot. You gotta pivot on those feet. All 10 toes face both directions. 
you don't pivot, your knees won't like it. And back to sumos. <laughs> and pivot, iso lunge, pivot, iso lunge, pivot. Back to sumos. Korean. Ten seconds. Uh, 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 with a hop. We made it. Now for core. Now the same thing. One round Tabata, and then two rounds, one minute of core. And then we have stretching, meditation. Done. Any core requests? Any core requests? Regular crunches, okay. These are the type of exercise that start off easy, then get really hard. So we'll do two rounds of upper, or sorry, Tabata upper, and then we'll focus on lower. The last two minutes. Make sure you're getting your shoulder blades off the mat and your eye gaze is staying over the knees. If you look up, you're just going to crush your neck. So tilt your head, eye gaze, over knees. Went to my mother's before the workout and she was making a BLT for breakfast, so all I can smell is bacon. Three, I think two, it's in my hair. Two, one. I for 20 seconds. And all I do is walk in. Three, two, one. All right, that's four sets. Let's do some rope climbers. So still focusing on upper, but alternating. Three, two, Hands in front. Reach for the rope. 20 seconds. I need someone to stand on my feet. Where's your child when you were leaving with them? Two more rounds of those. Just make sure your shoulder blade gets off the mat. Last round, and we have two one-minute ab rounds. Five seconds. So if 
you have any sort of apparatus where you can hold onto something above your head to do these, I recommend doing that, or a pole above your head, we're gonna do leg lifts. So if you wanna spin around, so you don't have any anchors up there though. So leg lifts. Three. All right, hip lifts, here we go. One. Timer finished. One minute for one minute. Go to timer. Way there. Three, two, one. Those are good. Down for twenty seconds. We'll do those one more time. Now, if you have a block, you do regular crunches, you do side lie, you can change it up. Think about lifting your hips as, as high as a block lying flat, so you have that sort of Three, reference. Two, one. Timer finished. One minute for one minute. Go on free timer. Thirty seconds to go. Remember, it's a lift and lower. Try not to lift and plop. Five seconds. Three, two, ah. I'm gonna feel those. Those were hard and good. Stretching. Go ahead and stay on your mat. You want to do one cardio run? You want to do two cardio runs? No. Three. The timer's two, on a 45 one. minute workout. Timer finished. Yoga for three minutes. Yoga Stretch for timer. three minutes. Stretching. Pull your knees in towards your chest. See if you can hug your knees in. Your arms above your head, let your knees fold to one side. Keep your knees on this side, just extend the legs and then extend the opposite arm. I'm keeping my hand on my knees just to, for a little mental reference of keeping my knees stacked and my hips stacked. Bend the knees, head to center, knees to center, other side. Stack the knees. I like to have my hand on my knees, my hand on my hip to push my hip away from me. Extend the legs. Extend the arm, eye gaze down the fingertips. Try to keep your knees and hips stacked. Turn the head and knees back to center. Go ahead and do your figure four here. Nice glute stretch. And switch.
arm cross, quick little happy baby. Legs spread, knees bent, elbows into knees. And then knees together, rock up for a pectoralis stretch. We have enough time for about 20 seconds on both sides. So bend one elbow, send the other arm long, look up to the elbow, you feel the pec stretch here. You can either lift your head or keep it down. You just need to make sure you feel the stretch in the pecs and the top of the shoulder. Just make sure that when you place your head down, you don't lose the stretch. And then the other side, same thing. Come back to center. Wag that tail again. And then prepare. Prepare yourself for meditation. Maybe you need to readjust an inversion table that your family members got out of your number or something. So get yourself set and ready <laughs> for meditation. I'm sitting on a block. It'll tilt my pelvis so I don't feel my hip flexors gripping me. So I can focus on my breath. So it is Thanksgiving, and even if it isn't Thanksgiving when you're doing this workout, it's always nice to have gratitude. So in your meditation, just almost have a, a journal in your mind and just have gratitude. Sit up nice and tall. You want to go into a yoga mudra. Almost looks like turkey feathers, doesn't it? And just go through what you're thankful for. Workout done, meditation done. Nice job, whether you did this pre-turkey, post-turkey, or any time of year. Namaste, happy Thanksgiving, even if it isn't Thanksgiving. Giving thanks, that's a daily thing, not just one day a year. Namaste, happy Thanksgiving.